what's going on guys welcome to or welcome back to the channel today's video we are going to be taking another look at this 15 inch slaps audio slaps audio oblivion now guys this sub is a absolute monster i've had this thing for a little bit now a uh, little bit of a rundown on the sub we got a uh, two spider packs so we have two in this pack i'm pressing it down yes there is two we have uh we have a uh, six gauge terminals four inch black aluminum coil guys um again on the magnet size i think it's a 270 ounce magnet i'll pop it up on the screen like last time i did forget so forgive me for that ti frame really do the think these frames are very 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 beefy we have um paper cone paper dust cap now guys i do actually think the paper dust cap is better than the other material I'm used on most subs um that's just my personal opinion. I like paper better. All right, guys. So this surround, uh, it's a little bit of a mid mid roll surround, not very not very big. But guys, this does get down. Um, the SBO on this is pretty good. If I had it in a custom made box, this thing would be loud, dude. And um, it is rated for two thousand watts RMS. And guess what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be we're gonna be putting that to the test. So guys, since it is very early morning where I live, I can't, I do not actually want to put it in a box because uh, it's, it'll be pretty freaking loud. Um, so what I'm going to do is a free air RMS test. Now guys, I know, save your comments, free air. I can't believe you're doing a freaking free air. That's going to be so tough on the sub. Yes, it will be tough on the sub, but I've seen the slaps audio do free air tests and, um, I want to try it for myself and it's it's very it's not as loud guys trust me uh the only reason why it's so loud doing our mess test is because it's in an enclosure and uh but without further ado let's just get to the rms test i have a march digital 8k and um i got my uh big jeff lithium i got my 320 amp alternator should be able to hold a constant 2000 watts on this thing um if not, because this thing is a D4, so I gotta wire it down to two ohms. But if I can't hold the 2000 watts, I will do my best to hold it as close as possible. And honestly, I'm aiming for four to five minutes. If it's less than 2000 watts, I'm aiming to do a little bit more, if that makes sense. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into the car. And yeah, let's check what this beast can do. Hey guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redoto Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Serwin Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. Alright, back to the video. Alright guys, got everything set up. We're going to do a... I'm actually going to do a... I think I'm going to do a 40 hertz frequency um, test. I may go down to 38 because 38 may push more watts. That's why. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna set my SMD on real time power and I uh, got my little shout out to Big Jeff Audio, Big Jeff Audio bass knob. I've had this thing in for a lo uh, pretty long time now since Triple Fest. It's worked like wonders. Um, only 50 bucks. Use code Bass Menace at checkout on Big Jeff Audio for 5% off your order. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. All right guys, let's get up to um, 2000 watts. Let me go ahead and start the timer. Three, two, one, start. And let's get this thing up.
on this car. Oh shit. Guys. Guys, we started smoking. We started smoke. So I'm turning it down. Shit, guys, we started the smoke. We made it at uh, six minutes, 30 seconds, basically at 1500. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. This thing, actually, this thing really got down low. Like, this, I, I mean, damn, it, it went through six minutes. Uh, like I said, it wasn't at full power. Um, <gasps> the ohms just rose so much, but I tried to keep it as much as I could. So I did, uh, 1500 mainly 1500 was like the average um i know we started off with 2000 my ohms just rose so much um let me stop this real quick uh i think i saw six minutes 30 seconds and then i saw smoke over here so uh and i do not want to blow this thing guys i do not want to blow an amp i do not want to blow a sub i just wanted to see how much this sub could actually take and uh guys if you like this video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, help me out in any way. Um, I'll be sending this to Slaps Audio. Uh, if you want me to review anything other, uh, any other products from Slaps Audio, let me know down in the comment section down below. And uh, without further ado, guys, this is it for the video. I really just wanted to see how long this thing could take to uh, either smoke or blow. And like I said, I do not want it to blow. This thing is a four inch aluminum coil. Now guys, it uh, withstood uh, 1500 watts mainly for about six minutes, 30 seconds before it started to smoke. Now uh, that was average. Um, but like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Please leave your comments down below. I respond to every single comment y'all leave unless it's like a hate comment. So let me know what you think down below. And uh, yeah guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned for the channel. I'm going to be putting a sub in my girlfriend's car. That will be fun. I have the sub and box already made. Um, and yeah. Peace, guys.